umetaja hapo ati kuna mambo huko unafaufanye kama wewe ni mgenge kwani ili uwe mgenge ulifaku ulifa kukuaje mimi si kunaelewa na cause hata after nimetoka California nili, kuna niliambiwa nisitumie hilo jina genge hakuna siku nimekaa chini kasa mimi nafanya genge i'm just doing good music yani mtu akitaka kuita ile kitu anaita my music is good music at end of the day unaona sasa zingine ninge record na kuta muziki zinafuto kwa computer zinapotea tu yani sasa ina nibidi nike record muziki naenda tao ile na wasilina ya kadata naenda nao nyumbani ndio muziki wangu muziki wangu usifuto kwa computer yani alafu kingine unakuta una record muziki alafu unakuta ukitoka umeenda wasanii wengine wamechukua muziki wameka vazi zao pale alafu wanautoa yani na kwa raise hizo issues wana wanakupigia simu wanakuambia sijui hii like cousins kama utalipa 1600 kwa sababu unajua nimetoka majuu size hizo tena yani kama utalipa shilingi 1600 wewe tutakuwa kuna wakati fulani uh, ilishikwa dhika kusema mimi ni mungiki unaona but iko mungiki kitu okay wacha nipigie story inaenda hivi Mungai Eve welcome to the Mungai Eve show it's a brand new episode of the pioneers and guys today i'm having one of the most requested person yani kila mtu alikuwa ananiambia mtafute pilipili tunamtaka kumuona jana hata nimekelea episode nyingine ananiambia ah tulikwambia ulete pilipili kwanza before ulete mtu mwingine and today i'm privileged to have him leo tutakuwa tukipiga story na yeye atuambie amekuwa wapi kama mnajua hakuna kulala ni kupande sikamba Mambo vipi mungu hivi? Poa sana uko poa? Eh niko salama sana. Nashukuru kwa kuni ame kunipa hii fursa kwa kwa kipindi chako. Yaani I'm humble unafanya kazi fit yani mna revolutionize mazee I mean the media industry yani kazi nzuri sana mazee. Tunashukuru. Ah pia tunashukuru kwa kukubali. I'm a big fan yani. Nimekuwa nikikucheki since wakina Madocho, Gota City. Ah yeye ndio nilianza sasa. Hai yani So like as a mini big fan yani. Uh, <laughs> yes. Na umeku kiona pale kwa comment section wakisema uje kwenye show. Ndio, yeah, nimekuwa nikiona alafu uh, mafans wangu wamekuwa kunitumia hizo screenshot wanatumia. Kataa kama last week wamenitumia karibu mm. karibu 20 mm -hmm. na mambo kama ndio kambi star angusha acha nimalize shughuli fulani nafanya kule Mombasa mm -hmm. alafu ni Nairobi so nimekuja Nairobi uh, hii wiki alafu mimi ndio huyu yani. Mm -hmm. uh, but mimi ni radhi najua tulifanya hii interview last week yani. Mm -hmm. Majukumu tu ya, ya familia yani. Tunaelewa. Yeah. Anyway pili pili mafanso ta kujua pili pili alienda wapi amekuwa akifanya nini Cha msingi kwanza ningependa kusema hivi mimi si cha mziki. bado niko kwa mziki, i mean roho yangu iko kwa mziki na mambo kama ila ila kidogo like uh, naweza sema ndio kidogo nimepotea ama no yani yes nimepotea cause uh, sijakuwa ni release mziki kwa 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 media uh, kwa traditional media na labda online na mambo kama ile cause ya sababu unavoidable circumstances na vitu vingine kama zile yani but in terms of kwa mziki bado nipo cause like uh, Um, mimi nafanya show karibu kila I mean, na, nashukuru Mungu sikosi show kwa mwezi na mambo kama ile hata jana ningefaa kuwa na kuru pale tulikuwa tunafaa kwenda na Mustafa show lakini juu ya mkataba tu kuelewana yani bado na studio bado na recording muziki zangu i mean na sijaa cha kurekord na mambo kama ile so ni kujipanga tu kidogo mambo ya marketing then like as in trudi kwa game yani but narudi yani mm -hmm. ya yeah, muziki iko na kama umekuwa ukirekord mbona hatujakuwa tukiona ukiekelea nyimbo pale pengine kwenye YouTube kuziona nyimbo mpya pale kwenye traditional media This is what I believe. Um ni kwa hiyo ngoma nimerecord hiyo 10% of the journey. 90% ina depend na marketing yani. Waje nikupatia analogy. Analogy ni like as in if like I have one song na like nina budget kwa hiyo ngoma milioni moja inamaanisha 900,000 tendo kwa marketing alafu 100,000 tendo wapi itendo kwa hiyo mziki umefanya yani nimefanya tu 10% peke yake yani na mimi naamini hivi you might have the best project in this world yani i mean the, the next song to the world domination na mambo kama ile yani but if you don't do 
good marketing na mambo kama ile it's as good as nothing na mambo kama ile unaona so ndio ni jua like cousin hapa naekeza kuna pesa naekeza lazima ni kushua like kuna ile return of investment cuz tena tusidanganyane uh, kwa miaka miaka hii mbili tatu mapato ya muziki yako iko vizuri sana i mean tukizingatia mambo ya corona mambo zingine kama zile na vitu kama vile unaona so um Music in Tatoa, music in Tatoa, as soon as in me, I mean, me should shoot my video like as music in Tatoa, yani. but music is here. I'm going to go to the studio now, and I'm going to go to the studio and I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it. I'm going to release new music. New music is going to release last year, November. I'm going to discuss the game. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to go to the and I the biggest comeback in Kenya so ndio maana nimekuwa niki hold yani lakini akaniambia kwanza ni ngoje kwanza and ke mkataba bado na ngoje yani but akini yake sana itabidi like kazi nitafute njia nyingine yani cuz si amini hii muziki siwezi fanya peke yangu ile ile mapato kidogo napata aitoshilezi na like kazi nyingi mambo mengine yani siwezi lipa bills na bado like at bado ni niwekeza bado kwa muziki yani yeah okay tukirudi nyuma kidogo ulikuwa kwenye ogopa then ukaingia kwenye calif records tungetaka kujua ilikuwaje ndo sasa ikakuwa sasa hivi wewe uko solo artist unapiga shughuli peke yako kwanza tukianza si kuanzia ta, si kuanzia ugopa nilianzia kwa studio yetu ya Josaya manze shout out my man huyo jamaa alinspire sana kwa 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 msanii wa kuimba imba yani unaona nilianza kwa studio Josaya lakini wakati huo siko na jita pilipili nilikuwa na jita jamba alafu alikuwa anatafuta msanii msanii fulani bado niko niko high school bado sasa hizo alikuwa anatafuta msanii fulani anaweza fanya hizi muziki za kikwetu za kikuyu wakumbuka vile gidigidi maji maji walifanya smarwa sasa yeye alikuwa anataka msanii anaweza kwa kikuyu hiyo muziki yani nikaenda nikafanya audition nikambara mbii hiyo time nilikuwa rapa rapa na mambo kama zile akanifanya nyingine nikamwambia kikuyu akasema nataka hiyo akanipatia assignment akaniambia wewe fanya hivi naenda nyumbani yani uh, come next week na muziki karibu 20 alafu kwa hizo 20 utachagua muziki 12 zile zitaenda kwa albamu yako mimi hata sikumaliza hiyo wiki mbili nimaliza siku tatu yani nimerudi tena pale hivyo tukaanza kufanya album muziki mmoja ukatoka ikachezwa kwa media lakini due, due to unavoidable circumstances hatukuweza kumaliza yani ndio baadaye nikatoka hapo tukaenda ogopa Eh, ogopa tulifanya mziki fulani nilikuwa jita nampenda mpenda nani na msanii fulani alikuwa jita Ganbi Mungu ilaze roho yake mpema peponi yani huyo alikuwa mtoto wa King of Benga then alikuwa jita Diomisi yani yani kufanyia mziki ogopa ndio um, I remember vividly like uh, kuna time flani tulienda Carnival mm-hmm. alafu Clemo alikuwa ameleta msanii wake pale Clemo of Calif Records yani mm-hmm. alikuwa ameleta msanii wake pale mmoja ku fill up for wale wasanii waogopa kwa alikuwa ameenda ngambo show pale hivyo mm-hmm. so ndio tuka catch vibe na yeye akasema unlike vako yangu na naweza taka tufanye kazi pamoja mm-hmm. nikasema saa basi ina shida nikipata muda itakuwa vizuri lakini kitu moja najua mm-hmm. um, mamako ni mamako mimi nimetoka through ogopa mziki wangu kwanza nimefanya like mimi nikakuwa stage ni ogopa na siwezi toka bila reason siwezi toka ogopa na mambo kama ile yani So um, after some time pale ogopa kwa kuwa na splinter group flani liko jita Badman Camp mm-hmm. wakina Logomba wakina vini, Mr Gugs na Vili Banton wakina Mavolcha mm-hmm. na plus my other half Ganbi mm-hmm. waka create group yao flani na jita Badman Camp yani mm-hmm. mimi nikabaki niko solo pale hakuna sehemu ya kwenda yani kajaribu kurudi ogopa ni ni record ngoma kama solo artist mm-hmm. ikakuwa ngumu yani so ndio nikakumbuka Clemo alikuwa ameni offer alikuwa ameni offer like as tufanye kazi naye yani mm-hmm. nikampigia simu nikaenda kule California alafu like as na akanipa mkataba uh, wa, 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 wa miaka tatu mm-hmm. eh uh-huh ndio nikajikuta pale ogopa yani mm-hmm. alafu nikakaa pale eh, kali pale miaka tatu uh, contract yangu ikaisha alafu nika step yani okay. yeah. safari ilikuwa vipi pale kali records aha hiyo ni swali mazee na uh, ilikuwa nzuri nashukuru Mungu tulikutana na Clemo na like kazi na think yeah nitoa hapa kaniweka hapa tulifanya kazi nzuri ingawa kulikuwa na challenges mingi sana yani cuz uh, pale kali I don't know how to say this but uh, kulikuwa na gatekeepers yani uh, the fact that nilikuwa nimetoka Gopa nimeenda kule huko like uh, uh, kuna kuna wasanii pale wa kupendeza na hilo jambo yani that's as ingine ninge record na kuta muziki zinafuta kwa computer zinapotea tu yani sasa inanibidi nike record muziki naenda tao hiyo wakati CD ilikuwa ni CD ya kwa kadata ilikuwa ni karibu 500 naenda Ibrahim school na wasili na kadata naenda nao nyumbani ndio muziki wangu muziki wangu usifute kwa computer yani cuz tena Clemo na yako anashinda studio Clemo wakati huo alikuwa kule Igaton University alikuwa anakuja tu Friday Saturday na Sunday yani so hizo siku zingine weekend weekend ndio ningeza kumuona yani unaona alafu kingine unakuta una record muziki alafu unakuta ukitoka umeenda wasanii wengine wamechukua muziki wameweka vazi zao pale alafu wanautoa yani mm-hmm. na huko raise hizo issues 
Ah, mimi mtumpole. Kitu, kitu moja nakumbuka, mama yetu pale kwa studio, mama Clemo Munga ila ze Roa Kemali Pema Peponi. Alikuwa ananiambia tulia mambo vijana na kuanga hivi hivi. Mzee sasa Clemo atakuja kutengeneza muziki mwingine mzuri. So mimi navumilia tu kwa zinajua nini nataka yani. Muziki mmoja hizi fanya like kazi na dream yangu yanguke yani. Yeah. Muziki yangu ingefanya dream yangu moja yanguke yani. Mhm. Mm so after 3 years contract ikafika mwisho contract ilifika mwisho yani na before before ifika mwisho mi mi like as in siku nataka nitoke kalif yani naona as much as kulikuwa na challenges mingi sana pale singependa siku nataka nitoke kalif vile nitoka kalif na uko itaka kutoka cuz at the end of the day najua kwa, kwa life kuna kuungana ma challenges kila pale ningetoka hapa hata ningeta kwingine kuungana challenges zake nilo navumilia if it was working for me unaangalia anga unaangalia anga i mean advantage na disadvantage alafu napimanisha kuna advantages siku juu i mean unatulia yani na ndio uh, ndio ndio nitoke kule ilikuwa kuna wakati fulani tumekaa chini mimi uh, uh, mimi Clemo na wasanii wengine wake hivi tukasema like uh, kwa sababu jina la Kalif limetanda sana sasa hizi tufungue branches na kuru kisumu na Mombasa yani sasa sisi wasanii tunawekeza sasa mambo kama ile mimi nikaenda nikaenda ngambo after miezi sita nikarudi na mashini zangu pale hivyo alafu like uh, nikingoja kwa mambo kama nitaenda na kura na kisumu tulienda tukafungua Kalif B pale Shell uh, pale Shell Moranga Road yani unaona so um contract yangu imeisha alafu nikaona kidogo kuna vile wananchelewesha alafu kuna mambo mengine ili kuna fanyika la singependa kuongelea kwa kamera yani ilibidi tu uh, mwenye nito, mwenye nitoke yani kwa sababu nilikuwa nimevumilia yani cuz tena like uh, ukifanya jambo fulani unaambua si mgenge kama like uh, uh, advice suit unakuwa si mgenge yani na si 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 claimo size ni like as new na itanga deep state wale alikuwa anaitwa jeshi ndio ndio ufanye uvai bling bling na kuwa si US mgenge si yuko ni ile mgenge ulifaa vipi alafu like as nienda show alafu like as labo bibo madansa unakuta nime bibo madansa wala madansa watalipo kwa sababu wao watasema hiyo hiyo si ugenge na mambo kama ile which hii mambo walikuwa wananipinga ndio wengine walikuja wakafanya baadaye yani yeah yeah so hizo 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 ndio shida zilikuwa pale yani na mimi nilikuwa like ndenda show pale fulani nitaona like tunafaa to improve kwa kitu fulani yani ndenda pale nikana management mwambie what if tukifanya hivi si saa zote tunaenda kwa stage pale tu mkono juu wapi nduru na mamboka watu wanataka like value for their money if you know what i'm saying unaona yeah so challenges zilikuwa kama hizo Hmm. Umetaja hapo ati kuna mambo huko unafaa ufanye kama we ni mgenge. Kwani ili uwe mgenge ulifaa ku, ulifa kukuaje? Mimi sikuwa naelewa na cause hata after nimetoka California ni, kuna niliambiwa nisitumie hilo jina genge. Hakuna siku nimekaa chini kasa mimi nafanya genge. I'm just doing good music yani. Mtu akitafuta ile kitu anaita my music is good music at end of the day. Unaona? Na even after after hiyo like uh, nakumbuka uh, mziki wangu wa kwanza kufanyia kwangu ile kwa nile mziki inajita twende ndani sijui kama ulikuwa sijui kama ulikuwa hiyo time ilikuwa mezaliwe yani kuna mziki mwingine ilikuwa naimbwa kuja na misi aende mbale sema na mitafadhale kuja na misi aende mbale sema na mitafadhale wacha maswali uje na mitwende ndani hiyo mziki like cousin ndio ilikuwa mziki wa kwanza kufanya pale kwa studio yangu ya chilling alafu like uh, niliza kuji express kwa sababu like cousin ili kuna pale ilikuwa nafika na mbo sijui usimbe usimbe baa mbili mpaka kwa baa moja kwa sijui ah mambo mengi sana yani kama sana hizo zingine ilikuwa unashindwa hata kuji express sasa zingine ah mhm so from hapo sasa uliamua ndio uliamua kuanza studio yako ama ilikuwaaje kwa sababu already nilikuwa nimenunua mashine na hii mashine ilikuja ile wazo tulikuwa tumekaa chini mimi na kina Clemo na wasanii wengine tukasema mmoja wetu atafungua studio pale Mombasa mwingine atafungua na Kuru Kisumu ndio to spread wings za California already nilikuwa na mashine zangu ni naona hapo sana nilikuwa na kuna I mean like cousin wacha nishe studio yangu ningangane naye kitu na mimi kivi yangu yani yeah but uh, having said that like nikufunga studio yangu maanisha nilikuwa nafanya kazi peke yangu most of the producers wana, wana, wana produce size wamepitia pale kwangu yani ile tu like labda tunanyamaza nimefanya kazi na wasanii wengi wale si singependa kuwataja attend the day unaona na bado nafanya kazi na wasanii bado yani yeah cause miro yangu ni ile like kazi na kuna ile roho ya kusaidia wasanii kama mtu ana kipaji mbona bana sikusaidie yani yes okay. kutoka hapo sasa vinyu uliamua sasa kukuwa solo artist mm. safari ili change yani uliamua ku independent artist sorry mm. safari ilikuwa vipi uliweza kutongoma peke yako ama ilikuwa yeah, yani ilianza kutongoma peke yangu uh, nilitongoma na like uh, zinazikafanya vizuri yani cuz like kazi na nimeacha kufanya uh, concert za kwenda ngambo juzi juzi tu na zile ngoma yani mm. si zile ngoma za i mean, I mean peke yake zile kuni fanya kali records yani mm. yeah okay. mm na hiyo studio sasa hivi kuna wasanii ambao wana umewasign pale ama you just work with artists uh, moja moja tu bila contract 
kitambo kitambo liko ni sign lakini likuja kujua ku sign hiyo si studio peke yake record label ni kama ni kama bank yani lazima kuna pesa kuinvest yani na mimi naweza nitakwambia sasa ni unaibukia size mtu akikupatia contract atanakwambia nataka ku sign mwambie kuonyesha ile budget anakuwekea kwa, kwa usani wako cuz kuna wasanii wengine wanaenda wanasign pale contract miaka tatu hakuna kitu nafanya sababu ile ile ile, ile, ile sema anasema ni record label am mm. anaona pesa kuwekeza nayo so before usign contract yote jua like azina ile record label anasema record label wanawekeza pesa ngapi kwao kwa sababu record label is all about wekezaji yani na hapo ndio kidogo mimi nilikuja kanilemea sababu nilikuwa natumia pesa yangu kidogo kusukuma wasanii wangu na si wa Kenya peke yake kwa Tanzania Uganda I mean I mean na wa Rwanda yani yeah so like as in niliacha kusaini wasanii cuz hiyo nanishinda for now tunafanya tu like as ile split sheet ile yes okay. yes yeah, tunafanya tu split mambo split sheet yani okay na sasa hivi pengine wasanii ambao unafanya nao kazi tunawajua ama bado uje wa introduce kuna wale kuna wale mnawajua singependa kuwataja yani <laughs> kuna wale mnawajua singependa kuwataja but labda naweza taja wale wale like uh, nafanya nao kazi saa hizi yani Uh, na like mimi napenda ku explore mimi mziki ni mziki doesn't matter kama unaimba rap ama unaimba reggae ama unaimba mziki wa kikuyu ama wa kijaluo mimi kwangu mziki ni mziki yani uh, in 2020 kila mwaka najipatia challenge na chukua msanii tofauti tofauti like niona vile itakuwa like as ukijitafuta vile like utatengeneza pesa kwa studio kule huko nimefanya kazi na msanii anaimba tumefuse mziki kama uhangla na msanii mmoja mkali anaita Steve Ojanam yani na tulikuwa nafanya hiyo wakati hiyo 2020 2021 ina msanii mwingine saa hizi nafanya naye kazi I, I, i think vile mimi nafikiria i mean his next his one song next world domination na jita abrabino kama unamjua yani unaona yeah okay. mm-hmm. na tukiangalia mziki mziki ambao mlikuwa mnafanya back in the days mm-hmm. na sasa hivi the industry has evolved mm-hmm. na umesema unarudi very soon unaanza kuachia ngoma mm-hmm. umejipanga kivipi so that utaweza kuingiana na hii generation yetu ya saa hizi kitu nasema nasema hivi kitambo tungetoa muziki ungeka miezi sita ama mwaka hujatoa ngoma muziki wako ndio ume hit peke yake mm-hmm. sasa hizi kuna competition sana wasanii ni wengi na mambo kama ile so hiyo ina call for ina call for consistency mm-hmm. na hiyo consistency ina maanisha ina maanisha niwekezaje mm-hmm. for example mi like according to business plan yangu imekuwa hivi nataka nikirudi ni kwa game kila mwezi kila mwezi nina ngoma moja kwa kwa kwa, 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 kwa mwaka mzima itakuwa karibu ngoma 12 yani nijipatie labda budget kwa kila ngoma natumia budget kitu kama ya 400000 hivi uh, ina ina hiyo nahitaji pesa ngapi hiyo ni uh, 12 times uh, 12 times 4 uh, ni 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 uh, ni that 600 I want to 48 mm-hmm. yeah so nahitaji kitu kama 4.8 million ya 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 whatever ya ya, ya kuwekeza pale hivyo yani mm-hmm. yeah okay. so like hiyo uh, inabidi ni kuwa na consistency kila kila mwaka lazima ni kuna muziki na like cousin lazima nitatafuta collab na like wale vijana huko chini like cousin wana introduce kwa hiyo market yao yani mm-hmm. ndio hivyo waweze ku catch up na hivyo vinaweza ku catch up kwa sababu watu kuanzia 2000 kurudi hivi kidogo like tumepoteza yani mm-hmm. yes sisi sasa sasa nyinyi sasa yani <laughs> najua naongea kigiriki hapa like kuna vitu vingine uelewi but utaelewa tu tukisonga yani uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tukiendelea ningetaka nijue like kwa safari yako ya muziki. What are some of the lessons zenye umekuja ku learn zenye ukirudi kwa industry tena kuna some of the things zenye utazifanya kwa sababu usha learn. Mm, some of the lessons yani. Some of the lessons like kazi kitu moja nimejua muziki inataka kitu inaitwa consistency. Unaona hiyo inataka, inataka consistency kwa sababu kidogo tu manzi unya maziki kidogo kidogo unaweza potea na kurudi form sana kama mimi na kwanza ngumu sana ndio maana kidogo labda tunaogopata kusha kitu yale mm-hmm. sababu tunaona ai tunirushe hii nisirushe hii ndushe hii nisirushe hii na mambo kama ile yani mm-hmm. unaona so consistency ni kitu cha maana sana kitu cha pili like kazina nikirudi lazima ni na pesa ya kuwekeza sitaki kujaribu yani nataka like nikieka nikijua like nikieka pesa yangu like ile naikeza i mean narudi yani yes okay. mm. apart from music sasa hizi umekuwa kujishughulisha na shughuli gani mm. uh, kwangu mimi naamini Uh, tunaishi kwa ile dunia like uweze tegemea like one cash stream sudanganyane kila pale in every sector si mziki peke yake yani so i mean like uh, mimi na mabishara bishara na makampuni kampuni yangu yani kuna wengine yako sasa hizi kuna wengine labda miaka mbili miaka tatu yameanguka kwa sababu ya sababu i mean like zile, zile reasons zinazojulikana kama mambo ya ron na mambo kama zile mm-hmm. lakini na mimi for msanii like kazina kama mimi like uh, niki save like niko nafanya investment yani i prefer like uh, hata kama unasema like to save yani ile pesa imeka kwa bank like sioni kinisaidia yani mimi ndo save alafu like nafanya nayo pesa investment zaye niki save karibu pesa fulani like as in interest na kwa pesa ngapi 1. kitu percent yani unaona but uki uki, uki, uki I amini mean, ukiekeza hiyo utapata mapato makubwa kushinda kama like tu umeweka kwa bank yani na unakutanga pale labda uh, pale labda unaenda kununua labda kitu kama mortgage na mambo kama ile ule jamaa anatengeneza ile mortgage amenda amechukua pesa yako kwa bank alafu akaekeza yani alafu urudi mbona usifanye mbona usifanye hilo jambo yani yes 
Uh, pale Kalif mm. ningetaka kujua ni msanii yupi ulifurahia sana kupiga kazi naye. Eh uh, wasanii wote nilifanya nao collab nilifurahia. Mm -hmm. Lakini ile ile nakumbuka ni collab yangu na na marehemu Lady Yes, God rest her soul in peace yani. Alituacha in 2007 October tarehe 7 yani. Mm. Na ilikuwa ni hivi yani ndio ndio tufanye kazi na Lady Yes ilikuwa nimetoka show Uganda kule huko. Show na jitautake wea wanachukua msanii kutoka Tanzania, Uganda na Kenya, alafu tunafanya sherehe pale Uganda yani. Mm. So mimi kushuka studio like kazi kama kawaida nilikuwa nakata pale studio naenda na mwambie Clemo vile kazi ilikuwa mm. kama kuna marupurupu ya studio napatiana pale na mambo kama ile. Nikipanda tu nimefika studio pale nikaona kina LDS ameka kule juu rooftop ona sio ona sio anaita anaita danki pale hivyo yani nikasema acha nikamgotea nje vile yako yani ah kwenda kumgotea tukaanza kuongeongea acha niuliza kitu ya kwanza ananiuliza eh hey, chili wewe unapatia kilimo nini so nikamwambia no mimi kuna kitu nampatia kwa sababu alikuwa anaona ni kama kilimo anafeva sana anashughulikia sana mambo kama nikamwambia kuna mimi ni bidii tu niko nayo alafu ndio tukaanza kupiga story alafu kuna story ile mbili nigusa sana ikanikumbusha tena yani unaona so nikamwambia usifu moyo alikuwa anasema ameka pale California miaka 4 na mimi ameona tu nimekuja mwaka na mimi nafanya mambo yani so kwa hizo hoteli zote na nafanya kazi kama naweza pata kazi ya ku kazi ya housekeeping hii ya hoteli hoteli ni mhuka because hao ni kama mziki na msaidia yani unaona ila jambo linishika sana nikamwambia uwezi 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 jaribu 104 umekuwa ukifanya muziki alafu sasa vitu kwa hiyo jaribu tu ile kumpa moyo yani lakini dema alikuwa alikuwa mgumu kidogo yani so tukaongea ongea nini na nini au oh, alafu nika mimi ndio kazi ile kudekezana ndio unajua wasanii wakapa moja kidogo wanaimba imba yani unaona nilikaanza kumbe ugi muona mwambie na mtaka ile kumdekeza dekeza mambo kama ile yani kwa nini naweza kuaidia nikamwambia nipe nipe wakati yani nikashuka chini nikaingia studio nikaenda nikagotea kilimo nikamwambia bro nimefika size eh, ningependa tuongee eh, kumaliza na wasanii alikuwa na wasanii pale kwa studio yani akaza no 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 tunaweza ongea tu ina shida nikamwambia vile show pale Uganda ilikuwa tunaweza improve nini na nini na nini na plus hiyo nikamwambia mimi na idea idea ni gani nikamwambia acha ni record kwanza nisisahau ukipata time tutakuja tufanye kama tufanye tu yani ndio tukaanza kufanya ile ile huyu mziki huyo 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 uh, ukimuona yani na Lady S hiyo kwa sababu tufanya na Lady S sasa hiyo tukafanya tukatengeza beat alafu like as Lady S bado kule juu i mean uh, ndio like nikamwambia Clemo hii mziki hata si wangu huyu mziki na tufanya na, na fanya Sharon 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 ndio Lady S marem Lady S yani so tukamuita pale akuja kasikiza speed speed tukafanya verse ya, ya, ya verse za mziki shout out to rafiki yangu Rajita Faruk na Wiri shout out na, na Wiri cuz alimsaidia kuandika zile mavazi na vitu vingine kama zile the same same day three hours tulikuwa na ngoma kesho yake tukafanya video after kufanya video like as in, I think ilikuwa ni Wednesday the Thursday ilikuwa kwa TV then it happen it happen Friday Sema nilikuwa naenda kufanya show pale Kitengela. Mwenye klabu amenipiga simu akaniambia, "Nimeona video yako kali sana msichana fulani anabeba wanya unyo, tafadhali kuja na kuja ule msichana." Mimi nikamwambia, "Eh, unajua ningependa sana nikuja naye lakini unajua ule ni brand. Ule ni brand kivi yake. So, mimi naomba kama inawezekana like uh, mwangalie kitu kidogo msore kitu kidogo at least hata yasaidie. Unajua nampa moyo cuz after ile story umesikia kitu kama Monday hiyo. So, mimi akasema sawa ina shida." Ah uh, tukaenda tukafanya I mean like as in tukaenda tukafanya hii show na Lady S hapo Kitengela na from hapo tukaanza kufanya gigs pamoja yani mm -hmm. tunaenda tunaenda tumetumeenda Kisumu tumeenda wapi tumeenda Uganda tumeenda tumeenda Arusha huko hivyo na show fani moja like as in fani nilionanga like uh, hii vibe ya hii ya kuroga hii sasa unaona vile hii vibe ya spangungu iko size mm hii -hmm. ya kuroga Lady S ndio alikuja na tulikuwa tunasimbana naye na sema mbona unaambia tunaroga wapi yani hii kuroga hii kuimba na mambo kama yana I mean like kazi tuko na bishana hiyo kitu. Tumeenda Arusha kufanya show, alafu like, wale wa Tanzania kidogo unajua shichenge wa Kenya waelewi kabisa. Lady S amekuja ameingia stage. Alafu like kazi uh, nimemuintroduce kwanza nilikuwa naingia stage kwanza na muintroduce kwanza. Anakuja mazee ameingia pale amesema, "Eh, ni aje wase, tunakuja kwa roga." Sasa jua ile hiyo hiyo I mean like hiyo uh, hiyo hiyo kidogo like kazi ilikoroga jamaa sana yani huko, "Ah, unakuja kutroga kivipi na vitu vingine kama zile." So hiyo vibe hiyo vibe hiyo whatever ilikuwa ni vibe ya Lady S na vitu vingine kama vile yani. Sasa wakati mambo yake na kuji nafunguka mm. eh, alikuwa ndio atu atuache alikuwa ametoka kuchukua visa Schengen visa alikuwa anaenda kufanya show pale pale Europe pale hivyo unaona eh, alikuwa anaenda kufanya show kwa my university yeah. zile show sina na Europe ni kwa club yeye alikuwa anaenda kufanya kwa my university na my institution yani alikuwa anamfungukia na like angeenda make poach sana yani unaona so uh, akitoka kuchukua visa ndio kisha yake ya fly akapata akapata accident pale uh, Ruaraka I mean Thika Road Uh, tukapigwa simu tukakimbia pale whatever eh ile kitu tuliona Mungu <laughs> uh, Mungu anajua mbona alifanya hivyo and ma, dadangu maze rest in peace maze tunakumi sana yani bado tunangangana na hii kitu yani na kitu kingine ningependa kusema like uh, uh, nimeongelesha mama 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 Sharon 
Nui radhi uh, siku mingi sana tujaonana lakini tunapanga tukuje tukuone mimi na vijana wangu yani uh, very soon uh, wala vijana tutapanga nao tutakuja tukuone kule nyumbani alafu um, over a long period nimekuwa nikitaka kufanya tribute yake kwa sababu tujaifanya tribute yani na there is no way nitafanya tribute peke yangu kama pilipili na like alikuwa msanii wa Kalifreko so kama wala sanio kule angenisaidia tufanye tribute yake ingekuwa fit sana tangu tangu aende uh, tujamfanyia chochote tujam celebrate na vitu vingine kama vile yani ndio hivyo Mm. Mwe try kwa reach out wasanii mlikuwa nao pale Kalif ama ndo unapanga kwa reach out. Kuna wale tuko tuko, tuko contact nao. Kuna wale tuko contact nao kama Flex. Flex naongea naye sana. Jimo tunaongea naye sana. Lakini wengine kidogo inakuwa tricky cuz uh, nakumkata tu kito, nikitoka kule wasanii walikuwa wameoniwa kwaambiwa ukipatikana na chili mambo yako naisha. Kuna msanii fulani sitaki kumtaja yani. Tulipatikana naye pale after nimetoka Kalif yani. Tulipatikana pale naye na, pale na kumat lifestyle. Alafu afta hapo kesho yake contract yake ilikuwa imeisha so aliacha muziki akaingia kwa job market na mambo alienda kandi kwa na governor mambo kama ile so wasani wengi like kazi alikuwa shambu like kazi ni kushirikiana chili na kumtiaji na mambo kama ile yani which is kama kuna yote ataona like kazi nataka tondo kule kutembelea mama lady yes na which na jua lady yes vile alikuwa na muziki kuna kuna mapato hiyo muziki yake inatengeneza lazima tumpatie tunaenda tukamtembelea mama itakuwa itakuwa vibaya sana like sasa ile msichana wake alikuwa hai ndio like tunafanya kazi lakini sasa ile msichana wake ametuacha tunachili hata mama yani yeah kidhani kwa nini watu walikuwa naambiwa wasiji usitishe na wewe kabisa mimi sielewi labda sielewi sielewi mimi sielewi ni kwa nini yani mm sielewi ni kwa nini walikuwa naambiwa wasiji usitishe na mimi yani mm okay tukiendelea pilipili kuna ngoma yako inaitwa morali kila mtu anaijua kila mtu anai celebrate ningetaka utuambie a brief history about that song ilikuwaaje ndo kama kuiandika na sasa hizi ni ngoma kubwa sana hapa Hapo muziki nimefanya 2005 na hiyo muziki imenipatia awards mingi sana yani like hiyo 2005 and 2006 ilifanya ni kwe male artist of the year na claimo akwe akwe producer of the year but ni tu vibe ile ya mtaa yani muziki zangu ziko based on on, on true story kitu chote nafanya pale like kazi na ni kitu ni kitu nimeshuhudia marafiki yangu ameshuhudia yani so tulikuwa tuna catch vibe tukafanya muziki kwa toka tunashukuru Mungu umekuwa muziki mkubwa sana yani yeah mm. na ningetaka unajua kumekuwa na hii kumekuwa na hii discussion you know wewe ni umekuwa msanii kutoka kitambo kumekuwa na hii discussion ya Kenya tunafaa tupitishe tukwe tunacheza muziki wetu 75% wewe kama msanii ambaye umekuwa kwa industry for a long period of time what do you think about the idea ni idea imekuwa ikisukuma kutoka kitambo ama sasa hivi ndio imeanza kusukuma hilo ni jambo zuri sana lakini sasa kitu kimoja tunafuata na tujiulize yani as much as in watu wana consume muziki kwa traditional media Sasa muziki watu, watu wana consume muziki wapi sana? Watu wana, wana, wana consume muziki online. Unaona? If kama tuna zambi mpaka YouTube afanyio 75% ta make sense sana yani. World imekuwa small, I mean a, a global village imekuwa mtu anatoa muziki labda kule Brazil na Iraq alafu muziki tunaona hapa Kenya yani. Hilo jambo kama tungefanya wakati wetu cuz tuko na tegemea tu traditional media ingekuwa nzuri yani. But I mean na support yani na support sana hiyo hilo hilo jambo. But having said that like as in lazima kuna regulations yani. Like, regulations in the sense that unajua uh, inasikitisha nchi yetu tunakuangalia like, kazini watu wakiona loophole watu wanamwagika pale ndio watengeze isikuwe like kazini tuona mbia sister yako na sister yako ingekuwa music industry alafu like hatuwezi control quality ya, ya muziki yani lazima kuna regulation in place yani si ati mtu yote anazotoa muziki mm-hmm. yes okay. yeah kwa ni good quality good quality cause like kazi kuna muziki nyingine nafanya sasa zote tunalaumiwa Kenya wembe muziki mzuri mm-hmm. na unakuta labda wale wana talent wana kitu Unaona wala talent wana kitu alafu like wala talent kidogo wanakosa kitu na mambo kama ile unaona so kuna regulation hata kama tunataka hiyo 75% lazima muziki kwa mzuri yani unaona yes umetaja ukasema morale is one of your songs yenye iliweza kukupa awards nyingi sana mm. tukiwa hapo kwa awards ningetaka kujua awards kama gani umeweza kupata so far ah mimi nimeshinda awards mingi yani like uh, kuna kaksima kuna kuna chaguo latini na zingineza mingi na mambo kama zile Uh, yeah na mimi nasema like as in uh, I count myself uh, blessed at the end of the day unaona no? cuz uh, ilichukua tu mwaka mmoja peke yake mimi na Clemo na na Clemo akwe Mela to Stevia na mimi niko I mean artist of the year na nakumbuka tukianza kwanza uh, mziki tulipeleka kwa 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 kwa, kwa radio uh, kwa radio na kwa whatever kwa TV ilikuwa ni kama na dem lakini sasa ile ile wako nataka kutucheza kwa sababu muziki zenu sijui zina sound vipi sijui master ni mbaya sijui nini nafanyika na nini mambo kama zile yani darasa zingine likiona bidi sangia tunajivutia ndio muziki zinaenda kwa chat yani yana force yani 
So muziki, muziki morali yani vile tulitoa mm. I remember tulikuwa tunafanya mastering hapo Igaton University yani mm. tulikuwa na Clemo mixing na mastering yani mm. alafu like as tulitu print mimi nilibeba CD yangu hivi Clemo akabeba CD yake mm. Sunday tukaenda church yani tumeshikilia hivi yani unaona tukaenda tukuombea ndio ifike pale ifike kwa sababu mzee tumesumbuka na hizi hizi muziki zingine za kwanza hizi you know, unanipata yani tukaenda tukuombea alafu tukajua sasa vile tutacheza tutacheza hivi yani pale kwa cover pale tukaandika Mastered in South Africa by Trans Scotsan You know fake it till you make it until you become it yani yeah. cuz unajua kuna ile perception is reality yeah. if, you, if you know what i'm saying yani yeah. ilibidi to fake yani laugh manzi tukipeleka kwa station wanasema ah hey mama sasa south africa hakuna ya mama sasa south africa nimesoma pale pale california na igaton pale hivyo yani unaona yeah. so sasa zingine eh, ilikuwa iliku ngumu but like as in mungu alisaidia kafika pale ilifika yani mm-hmm. we fake it till you make it and you made it yani mm-hmm. yes okay. Yes. Na zao zote ushaweza kuzipokea uko nazo pale nyumbani. <laughs> Sasa hapa ndio hapo ndio jambo linakuja hapo inakuwa mimi kuongea ukweli award zangu sina. Kuna zile niko nazo zile. Lakini hizo kubwa kubwa niliambiwa sijui ni achi studio ndio watu wakuja pale waone mazawadi ndio wajue kazi nafanyika hapa. Lakini ningependa kuzichukua yani. Ningependa kuwa nazo nimekuwa nime nikijaribu kupiga simu kule lakini sipati mtu dongi yani yani. Sasa hivi ziko wapi? Uh, I think ziko kwa Clemo if I'm not wrong na California iko bado ama walifunga. Sudu lifungwa. Yeah so mimi ningependa I mean nakuomba Clemo mtu wangu kama anaweza patafuta zangu hizo watu zangu nashukuru sana cuz hata mtoto wangu anarudi zangu kule ziko yani you know unanipata yani yeah so I mean ningezipata ingekuwa ingekuwa vizuri okay, no, umetry ku, ku, kuongea na Clemo ndo uweze kuzipata ama Clemo patikani kwa simu acha tudanganyane Clemo patikani kwa simu ama management nikipiga wale watu kama Tom of Ngoma I think ni ni ni, ni partner kwa biashara niambie ongea na Clemo ukipiga Clemo 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 ashiki simu ama like ana ashiki simu ni namba kama tano za Clemo mm-hmm. ata juzi mziki zangu zilikuwa kwa YouTube uh, kitu kama miaka kaa kumi. Mm-hmm. nimekuja kupata whatever after kuuliza pesa yangu iko wapi nimekuja kupata juzi na like I think uh, tumuongea na wengine walikuwa kule niambie ndeni hela yenu kwa sababu hiyo ni haki yenu atende vete sasa hizi kitu unafuatilia hata jana na 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 na, na advocate nafuatilia hii mambo ya ya skiza yani unaona ile kwa vizuri kwanza kitu hata kiweka pale mimi nafaa kuwa pale na sign mkataba but like kidogo leka kisiri siri yani unanipata yani na labda singine watu wakiingia kwa YouTube na kwa sababu pilipili sababu muziki zangu ziko kwa account yangu ziko kwa kwa account hiyo ya hiyo ya Califreco za Africa but cha muhimu kwanza mimi na mimi naomba like nipate awards zangu cuz Ara mtoto wangu anuliza hizi mipigo nazo picha ziko wapi mbona tuzioni yani mm. na kuna zingine bado nakumbuka tukitoka event fulani yani tumeshuka pale kuna place fulani watu wanapita tau siku pale panaitwa panaitwa nini Sanford and Sons mm. tunaenda pale kubai kubai hizi machipu chipu na staff kaa ile yani mm. nimeshukua gari yani awards ziko kwa awards mbili ziko kwa whatever ziko kwa kwa, kwa bag pale yani mm. So nimefika nyumbani mimi ningekuwa baksi yoni awards yani nauliza wajamaa wangu tulikuwa nao siku naenda wapi yani kuna mtu ndo anicheza yani tuseme tu hivyo yani so ah kama ulichukulia mtu wangu mimi nilikuwa cha Mungu unaona mtu achukue zawadi yenye yeye haja an to eat watu wengine wajaribu kusabotage yani unaona watu wengine wajaribu kusabotage watu wengine wajaribu kusabotage kingine naweza kumbuka like as kuna wakati fulani uh, ilishikodhika kusema mimi ni mungiki unaona but iko mungiki kitu okay wacha nipige story inaenda hivi nilikuwa na nilikuwa kuna wakati fulani nilikuwa uh, a bassender wa youth kwa Kenya AIDS Control Council kitu kunafanya tulikuwa tunatembea tuliku, tuliku, kwa university na college na institution kama msanii ile kwenda kwa encourage watu wapimwe mkingo uh, mdudu na mambo kama ile yani uh, HIV so hiyo nikaitwa thika kule kwenda kufungua VCT uh, project fulani kwa project au kitu kama zi, kitu kama kile yani ah sasa mimi nikaenda yani Nimeenda tumefanya mambo yetu tumefanya watu wamepimwa nini tume encourage vijana wao ndio ndio wajue status zao na mambo kama ile tukitoka ndio tuende lunch i remember like cousin just tunaingia kwa barabara nikasema mwisho na polisi watatu hivi wakaniambia eh pilipili um mkubwa nataka kuona mimi akili yangu inaniambia mkubwa ni fan naona mkubwa ni fan na i mean na 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 nikasema tu basi ingine kwa gari tuenda kusema tunaweza tembea dakika tu mbili yani so tukitembea kule tunaenda yani kukuribia kuna gari fulani kuna gari fulani ya hizi zinaitwa jaza hizi lorry za polisi zinashikashika watu lakini huko chini kuna ya hiyo hiyo huko chini kuna pandamoni watu wanakimbizana yani kumbe kuna mungiki kuna mungiki crackdown pale hivyo alafu sasa huu huu polisi ameva hii brown ashambe shika hii ni mabusu nikashindwa tena nimekuwa mabusu kivipi yani unaona um, uh, wameingisha pale kwa jaza hiyo ria hiyo ama mariamu au kitu kama ile tuko pale kwa police station pale hivyo kesi yangu ilikuwa mungiki kesi yangu ilikuwa kosa kwenda show nilifaa kwenda kama wiki tatu hapo thika kufungua club fulani yani and then like kazina management yangu wale wazee wale wenye club walienda pale kwa management yangu ya Calfrecos wakaenda kasign contract kijua like 
management wangu walikuwa jua like na show hiyo siku so siku kuu yani waka replace wasanii wengine wanne singependa kuwataja lakini ndio hivyo ni jimo tulikuwa mmoja pale na flex hao wengine walikuwa walikuwa tu pale hivyo ni alafu shiko flop wale jamaa kashikwa ikakuwa ati wamehadaa watu pesa yao hiyo show yani aza kwanza kuleta shida wakasema si mnatuombe pilipili huko lakini like lazima tuleta watu tofauti yani si unataka pesa yetu yani mimi kidani mambo imeisha hiyo sasa hiyo 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 tarehe moja disemba na nafungua re project kumbe ndio jambo nashikiwe yani nilikata kwenda show kwa sababu yeye mbona ukwenda kwa sababu nilikuwa na mkataba na watu wengine hiyo wakati nilikuwa nikifanya activation regional activations za project fame yani na nilikuwa na mkataba miezi mbili management yangu alijua na show lakini bado walinibook wali, wali tu bado yani unaona so ndio mimi ndio kujua nimeshikwa polisi wakanigeuzia wakasema nimekuwa muungiki unaona mm -hmm. Ah ikakuwa hivyo ikakuwa hivyo yani tuka I mean tuka ikakuwa like kazina wakati tukafanya kesi nao tukapeleka sio police station flani huko huko sio ni the kind cool huko hivyo but eventually turudi tukaachiliwa sasa kitu funny like kazini pale watu nikwambia kuna watu walikuwa na sabotage yani wana wanakupigia simu wanakuambia sijui like kazini kama utalipa 1600 kwa sababu unajua nimetoka majuu size hizo tena yani kama utalipa sita, wewe tutakuwa sabili ile mambo ya show so unakuta like kazi watu tunafanya nao kazi walikuwa wana throw under, under the bus yani mm. kuna pesa nilikuwa nimetoa kama 30 yani ndio like so historical lakini nilifika point yani nikasema hii black mail itoshi yani na ni watu tunajua pale 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 hiyo hapo kwa hapo kwa studio pale hivyo yani mm -hmm. yeah okay. ni watu tunajua vizuri sana yani mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay na hiyo story yako ya ya polisi ilishaje mlenda kotini ama ilikatika tu kitu kilifanyika mtu alinisaidia sana ni Karl Mtuku No before police like kazina watu wa media kujua tumeshikwa alafu anajua kule tuko tuliotilo si wote apparently wakati watu walikuwa na shikwa ilikuwa like kazini ukishikwa it's either when the committee ndani as a mongiki suspect yani it's either when the committee ndani miaka mbili ama to 2020 yani na like ee 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 e, e, vile nilijua watu wanashikiwa walikuwa nashikiwa cuz tulikuwa na chini tunabonga na makarao au anasema tu ni instruction unapati wangu na mambo kama ile yani vile watu wa media watu wa media walijua ile station tuko yani walikuja huko tukatilio si wote kwa sababu radio sha 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 blow sha blow whatever hiyo kawa yao watu kitu wanafanya yani yeah so even tuliachiliwa then uh, sunday asubuhi niko kwa gazeti ile ile, ile front page na kwa hizo pilipili muungiki na ile nywele yangu ile ya yellow ile kabisa ile yani unaona na nashukuru sana madam uh, Karl Mtuku akiwa Kiss FM alinisaidia sana alinita breakfast show kwenda kuongea story alafu tukaongea na tukaongea na wale wakubwa wale wa, wa Thika police station kule i mean wa kwamba msamaha alikuwa akasema ilikuwa case of mistaken identity yeah but yeah Uh, the last question pili pili ningetaka uongeleshe vijana unajua sasa hivi mimi napata nanga na vijana wengi sana mtaani wanasema wako na talent wanataka kupushi mziki wao mimi ningetaka wewe kama mtu mwenye amekuwa hapo before them na bado unaendelea kupush ningetaka uambie kitu eh, kama ni msanii unaoibukia una, 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 una yani mnaweza ambio yake focus yao online yani cause like cousin watu wana consume muziki online i think like karibu 85% muziki na consume online kitambo ilikuwa like cousin kuna vipindi zilikuwa kwa ma tv tv pale like cousin kuta kuna muziki mpya lazima ungeangalia pale yani but sasa hizi kuna youtube kuna like cousin kuna facebook endo market muziki yako kwa sababu tena kule utapata ile demograph nataka kuna vile unaweza calibrate kama unataka kufikia watu wa 25 years to 35 unaweza calibrate mpaka wafikie yani hii mambo ya kusema sijui i mean unasukuma uh, Yes traditional media inasaidia but I think online it I mean inasaidia sana yani. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ni mambo ya kusema unaangoja usapotiwe. Na kuangoja usapotiwe. Unajua wasanii wanasemanga hakuna no, 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 support. No, no, you work with what you have. Una una una, 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 una have but kitu moja tunajua muziki gharama watu wajue. Mm -hmm. Muziki gharama sana. Na sangine like kuna kuta old scene nzuri yani. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Ile unajaribu jaribu alafu like unajua kama mtu anaibukia umambi sijui alipe video karibu 1200 ndio kwa competitive yani kidogo itakuwa shida yani hiyo pesa itatoka wapi yani unaona na like as ingekuwa vizuri like uh, we have to ha have to have a culture ile like uh, we celebrate our own yani unajua hapo Kenya pole kusema hivi like inakuwa like as ina to celebrate watu zile watu washaku wakubwa tuanze kwa celebrate kwa kule chini yani alafu like as ina we don't value our own like uh, tunaangalia tunaangalia wale asani wa nje kwanza before tuangalia kwetu yani mm -hmm. na kitu moja majirani wetu kitu moja pesa mingi unatengenezea hapa so msani msani yote kwa pale nyumbani anajaribu yani endo mm -hmm. subscribe kwa youtube yake ama kwa social media zake ya mzee msupport hivyo at least anapata kitu ndio aweze kutoa muziki na muziki na muziki mm -hmm. isikutu saa zote kutoa muziki na kwa unapatiwa tu sifa peke yake mm -hmm. sifa peke yake azilipi bills Yeah, sifa peke yake azilipi bills kwa bills tumekuwa tukiona wasanii wengi okay not wengi there are some artists wenye walikuwa ni wasanii wakubwa sana but later in life unakuja kupata msanii maisha kidogo impeleki vizuri ya yeah, hayuko poa ukidhani ni jambo gani utokea mimi kitu moja najua 
wasani wengi kufa maskini cause you are as good as your last project yani waje mimi ndo na competition amefanya video kali 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 alafu kwa sababu kwa sababu ni competition lazima ni drive niseme ndafanya kitu kali kushinda hii yani jamani hata kama una save na unatumia hela yako kufanya hizo video na mambo kama ile uta save siku gani kitu kitu kitu, kitu, kitu cha kwanza yani ita i mean itakuwa ita ni ngumu ndio maana like as in kama tuweza pata thamini wala tutakuwa natusimamia wana invest kwa, kwa career zetu itakuwa vizuri yani but kama unatumia hela yako inakuwa kidogo ndio maana wasanii like wana, wana, wana unaweza tuongoma size ume, umetumia hela mingi sana karibu 1500 Alafu labda mziki mwenyewe kwa kurudisha na labda umetumia saving yani utapata pesa vipi yani itakuwa shida so um, kitu nasema like cousin hiyo uwekezaji ndio inakuwa kidogo inakuwa shida tunaekeza ile pesa tuna save ile yani sangine una kanga unaangalia like cousin mbona nikeze kwanza uh, tuseme labda na mziki na mziki mmoja nataka kutoa na kitu kama karibu 1500 nasema nataka kuinvest kwa hiyo kwa hiyo mziki yani na bila nilikwambia 10% nenda kwa audio alafu 90% nenda kwa hiyo marketing na mambo mengine kama hiyo kuanzia kwa video kama kama marketing tool na vitu vingine kama zile yani utakao fikiria useme like cousin yes naweza tu mziki but auja 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 jikinga huku nyuma yani una, una labda una family na kutegemea na mambo kama ile sasa unaangalia yangu unasema like cousin acha niekezee pesa kidogo kama labda unaweza nunua shamba pale fulani alafu rudi uze badala alafu utumie utumie ile profit unapata pale kuweka pale instead of kuweka yote yani unaona so haikuangi mapenzi ya wasanii haikuangi mapenzi ya wasanii like cousin ku at least si wote si wote i mean of course kuna wale kadhaa na vitu vingine haikuangi mapenzi ya wasanii like sangine kukosa kitu yani wanahitaji support na mambo kama ile having said that um wala sasa ni tunamgo sijui tunaiga na mambo kama zile yani i believe use your brand to complement your supplementary business at the end of the day maybe shara zangu zangu zote nazisukuma na jina pilipili yani nimekuwa in the automotive industry like as nafanya nafanya repair za gari insurance sangine na na mimi naweza insurance lakini ndio nipate hizo biashara ile jina yangu pilipili na nisaidi yani cause natumia jina ku network yani unaona nimekuwa kwa kwa hii creative industry cause uh, as much as in a studio kitu nafanyanga nafanya like as nafanya na, na, na I mean like nafanya creative for, uh, on behalf of uh, agencies and company yani tuna create ma commercial na advertisement ndio kama zile tunafanya film scoring anything ya audio na mambo kama zile yani ile jina langu pilipili ndio nipatie kazi hata si jina kampuni yenyewe yani unaona so wanafa ku leverage na brand zao i mean ku complement the supplementary business if if you know what i'm saying angalia mtu kama Kanye West sorry kupata an example mbaya nje but ndio hivyo tuseme i mean tuseme hivyo like tunalearn vitu kutoka kwa yani ule jamaa wewe sema ni pesa ya pesa ya mziki inamweka pale yani ana product ya kando I mean mwingine ni nani mwingine ni Rihana ametengeneza zile ma, 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 ma cosmetics na vitu vingine fenty na mambo kama hiyo hiyo ndio umeweka juu yani sasa so, so, wale wanatumia brand zao ku complement hizo hizo biashara zao zingine yani wakifanya hivyo utakuwa fit lakini ukitegemea cash stream moja utaanguka you need multiple cash stream ndio uweze kusurvive kwa hii dunia yani yeah yeah hivyo ndio I mean ningependa kuambia kuna sasa zingine kwa usanii na kwa like star yako ina shine alafu ina rudi na shuka yani sasa ile nashuka unatumia hii biashara nyingine like ile ku survive yani unaona wewe sema like as in kwa sababu size niko chini sijui nitaongoma itatoa ujui yani sasa hii zinakuwa mbaya yani kama hujafanya mahesabu yako vizuri yes la mwisho ningetaka uongeleshe mafanso wako wao ndio wamefanya nikakutafuta hadi tukapiga hii conversation Eh cha kwanza manzi nashukuru kwa support yenu since way back manzi nashukuru sana na na mnirathi manzi mmenivumilia sana nikiwaambia sijui narudi 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 lakini kwa sababu kurudi sangine siko mapenzi yangu na mambo kama ile tunajipanga tunarudi tuna mziki kali zinakuja yani so like very soon mtakuwa mnatuona Mungu akipenda yani cuz Mungu ndio anafanikisha na mambo kama ile yani na ile support ile 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 tunapatia tunashukuru sana yani yes Asante sana tunashukuru uh, kwa kukubali kukuja hapa na tuka have that great conversation. Uh, Wakiku request tena mimi nakutafuta tena. Mimi na shukuru yani polo kwa uchovu bana like as nimetoka safari kidogo sasa hizi unajua hii kutafuta tafuta mambo kama ile yani ya, kuna kuna watu fulani like as tunafanyia tunafanya consultation ya marketing hiyo ya ya campaign campaign na vitu kama zile ndio kutafuta bado na mambo kama ile yani naona through through studio yani tunafanya hizo ma, ma uh, content za digital na vitu kama zile but na fry kuapa na fry kuna nyinyi na vile nimekuambia unafanya kazi mzuri sana yani mna mna change the industry mna revolutionize na fry sana yani yes na muendelee hivyo vijana wadogo yani man ni raha sana yani yeah Tunashukuru sana. Tunashukuru sana sana. Mimi naitwa Dingoingo yoyo. Eh, inaitwa Dingoingo. Mimi najua. Ai, ni gigi koyo. Yeah, so guys, uh, it has been an episode with Pili Pili. Most of you mko mkiniambia ni mlete, ni mlete. I told you guys I always go through your comments. Hata sometimes ukiona sija reply pale, mjue mimi na kwanga nimepitia na nimeona mna mtaka nani kwenye hii segment yetu mpya ya The Pioneers. Guys, ebu let me know on the comment section this time round mnataka ni watafutie nani. Mshasema Pili Pili nimemleta. Next time tulete nani? Comment down below and also remember to subscribe we meet the next episode okay dogo no 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 no
Wajua babangu aliniambia like ukisaidiana ndio blessings na kuja yani. Na siku nimetembea peke yangu. Niko nimetembea na msani joro sana. Huyo jamaa anataka kumtroduce hapa yani. Namtaniambia his next to world nomination. Ngoma tu moja yani. Ako tu like one song to world domination. Abra bino kuja. Abra kuja yani. Huyo kijana ni mkali namtambua, namuamini yani. Naona. So if mimi naomba yani kuja 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 kaka yangu kuja hata kusimama tu nyuma pale hivi yani yes unaona huyo jamaa mimi hivi naomba naomba yani mimi nakuamini yani unaweza mfikisha pale nataka kufikisha yani na mimi najua labda mwaka kama moja mwaka mbili yani tuko tunasema unaona kitu unafanyika yani huyo jamaa ni mnyama niambie huyo jamaa ni mnyama kuna ndugu zetu kule chini kule lakini huyu ah ah mnyama tumii kitu Um sasa nikumbie nyimbo gani hivi? Kwa sababu waambie unaitwa nani? Alafu sasa waguzie nyimbo moja. Um mimi naitwa Abrabino, ni msanii um kwanza na Fry Leon Mkuona. Ndio ni crush. Aya. Yeah, na Fry Mkuona. Um Yeah, so um kuna nyimbo nimefanya naitwa Ida iko online na nyimbo mpya naitwa Corazon Kwamboka pia. Iko, yes, iko online already. So ya labda ni mbe, ni mbe kidogo. Mhm. Tuguzie. Hiyo akora zone na inakaa kama itaweza sana. Muda mwingine natamani ni kuonge gari ama shopping Dubai. Mhm. Mana moyo nga ukomi nataka ukoni hata tunkupe hai. Kora zone, kora zone, kwamboka. Kora zone, kora zone, kora zone. Eshe kwa waganga, eni kwa waganga, kora zone. Mhm. Ya na ngoma yenyewe ukamuite Corazon. Kumbuka kwa sababu um Corazon Corazon ni mwanamke mrembo alafu istoshe um, juzi aliposta alisema ana depression na ushaona. Mm-hmm. Alafu na mimi pia nilikuwa kwenye depression kama hivyo ya vitu kama hivyo mapenzi na nini. So yeah of course kufanya nyimbo tu mm-hmm. yeye yeah, apunguze mawazo. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imemfikia ama bado? Mm, najua kwa uwezo wako utamfikia zaidi kwa uwezo wako I trust you. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, so, next time unakutafuta itakuwaishamfikia, si ndio? Ah, ungeambia wanaweza pata wapi ile ngoma? Mm, wanaweza ipata YouTube, alafu iTunes, Boomplay, same zote yani digital platform zote nyimbo iko. Uh-huh. Yeah. nani pale kwenye YouTube? Najita Abrabino. Uh-huh. Abrabino YouTube, um, Instagram Abrabino underscore, Twitter Abrabino underscore hivyo hivyo. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Asante sana. Tutakutafuta next time tu ikwisha mfikia yule Corazon, si ndio? Aha, asante. Ana wale asante tunafanya nao production. Huo ni mmoja. Na mwingine kwa sign kuna mwingine anajitaja Steve Ojanam, anafanya muziki wa Hangla. Mtaguzisha tu pale watu wasikie kazi, yani. Hizo ni kazi za studio yangu, yani. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So tunaomba support yenu, yani. Na tunakuamini, yani. Yes. Asante sana. Na pia mimi naaminia team Ngai Eve hawajai kuniangusha hata siku moja. Go and check out uh, that that song. Nitawekea link hapa chini mfike pale. Um, subscribe pia mwache ile ngoma you share imfikie Corazon Kwamboka anyway guys subscribe till next time